Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Great Galactic Star Nation of the New Earth Revelation. We have triple lion energies coming in with the Sun, Moon, and Venus retrograde all in Leo. This is the trinity of fire blazing through the quantum field, lighting up the threefold flame within the living hearts of our starseed earth angelics of the 144. As we burn from the fire from within, we clear, purge, and cleanse all that remains of the false projection timelines of the suffering simulations. As we release, grow, and expand into our multidimensional light bodies of infinite life. The 13 gold solar disks at our 13 sacred sites have been activated and are fully online to assist Gaia and all her children of the sun in raising Lemuria and Atlantis to usher in the new golden age of enlightenment forevermore. Keep anchoring in the sacred codes of resurrection into the dragon lines and the song lines of Pachamama. In the union of the divine feminine and the divine masculine and the balance of the yin and the yang, the eagle and the condor merge in Heroscamos to bridge heaven and earth, to raise those that have gone before us, to commence in the great reunion of our soul tribes of the new earth, as we make our collective quantum leap of consciousness into the new human of Homo Luminous, we break through the zero-point center of eternity, and in the freedom codes of our divine birthrights, we activate the great liberation of all sentient beings of the way. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes, so be sure to listen to the very end where we release another powerful divine decree. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 20 degrees, 38 minutes Leo. The sun is at 23 degrees, 5 minutes Leo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 24 degrees Leo. Totally concentrated upon inner spiritual attainment, a man is sitting in a state of complete neglect of his body. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 21 degrees Leo. Intoxicated chickens dizzily flap their wings, trying to fly. From AstrologyWeekly.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Raylene Brady. All is not as it seems. Our inner earth is in a deep purge. What was severed below, reuniting above. May Mother Mu rise like the phoenix. Law, lore of one returning. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Roberto Nunez, You are about to be happier than ever. This is the time to receive change with open arms. You are moving to better days in your life. 22, 22, 22, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 5, 5. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Victoria, Liljin Quest. August 15th, 2023. Beloved family, our hearts are ready. We have walked through many lives to arrive at this moment of our divine destiny for a new heaven on our new earth. Join me now to command and visualize in love and honor for our graduation to be initiated now. Loving each and every one of us, it is time. Humanity in oneness. Let us usher in now celebration, joy, reunion. Peace eternally. Alleluia. Love and vision from Commander Victoria Liljenquest. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Hannah and Noya. Release all the old belief systems of the old densities now. Tune in, purify, and detox your body. Magical Earth Star Chakra 
Release old fear, choose divine love now. New civilization codes, new root race, new earth Gaia temples, restoring the paradise codes. All the elementals, fey and dragons step in with Sophia, Christed, field awakening. And from divine sister of the light, Angelique M. Larson, beloved family of light, in this sacred now, I invite you to breathe into your sacred heart. As the ultraviolet fire fills every cell, molecule, and atom of your being, from the top of your crowns down to your adorable toes, uplifting, transmuting, transcending all thoughts, feelings, and emotions that are no longer serving your highest and greatest good, of love and peace within, creating space for the pure love from the heart of Source to illuminate your being and embrace you in the sacred now. Feel the profound love flowing through you and around you as all illusions and delusions are lifted. Choose to release all that is not in your control, restoring your love and peace for yourself and all that is in this sacred now. Send love from your heart to all in your life and in the world who require love and healing. Peace within peace in the world. I love you all from AngeliqueLarson.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Marie Josie Gerson de Lum. For the days and weeks that will follow, if it is not already a process initiated in your lives, it will be necessary to take care of your body, restore your body, honor your body, rest your body. It is a process each of us must follow to be able to integrate new energies that are rising more and more. All of these processes are always repeating according to the elevation of each and according to the Earth's plan elevation and will continue to repeat until we have reached a certain level of frequencies and our bodies have transformed into our crystal bodies. The last two weeks of August will be rushing, and if I have one advice for you, it will be easier if you spend more time meditating, gathering, and praying. From MarieJosieMedium.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light Shea from Numbers by Shea Numerology, 8 August wants you to make nice with your emotions, so feelings are running strong while logic can take a back seat. This is important as you transition from the repression of old earth into the more honest expression of new earth. You are getting to know yourself through your emotions and how they affect your environment. Today is filled with feels. Your right action is to observe what you do with them. Be aware of how you react to your emotions versus how you've been taught you should act. Repression isn't healthy or helpful. Honesty is your most valuable ally. Today can bring hidden feelings into the light so they can't sneak up on you in the darkness. And today from Divine Sister of the Light, Mary Costello. When the spark of us in the earth meets the light of us in heaven, imagine the ignition. Power centers, power up, aligned to the full length and breadth of you. Magnetosphere realigned to Mother. Mother Divine Mind reinstated within our planetary logos. Lunar Magnetics overridden. Complete eviction of NAA magnetic interference. Mind control undone. In dilution lies confusion. Speaking clearly to restore truth. The cosmic womb by another name could be known as the void of creation or source of life. I have even been advised to stop using the word womb so as to be more palatable to others. That won't be happening. In delusion lies confusion. It is clear to me that the mother life force energy is intrinsically a deep trusted presence, known by the inner child as the first protector and nurturer. So when I speak, I speak only to your inner child who remembers. The position of mother as a cosmic presence has been denied by wrongdoers who benefit from her exclusion from higher dimensions. Entities that wish to do what they wanted without the mother's cosmic eye upon them. 
so I will use these words that I am given to undo the confusion around Mother and to restore her rightful position in heaven and earth and all in between. If our primary goal with speech is to be non-offensive, we often say nothing much. Choosing to talk in a cajoling, placating way in order to be smoothly received by everyone's ego is spellcasting. Speak clearly from the heart and soul so that hearts and souls may hear you. Speak clearly so that who you speak for trusts you and continues to channel through you. I don't seek to offend, but I know sometimes it is a consequence of my words, and sometimes the truth hurts. Blessings in the truthful remembrance. And today from Divine Brother of the Light Diego E. Berman, Ph.D. New Moon Energies, Tuesday, Wednesday, August 15, 16, 2023. Dear friends, the new moon in Leo is almost upon us. And this new moon is here to help us question old habits, behaviors, and beliefs. 1111 coming in. While searching for new and inventive ways to move forward on our life's journey. New moons occur when the moon is positioned between the earth and the sun, casting a shadow on the side that faces earth, unlike the full moon which is at its maximum brightest display. New moons are invisible because they are concealed by the sun, and all we see is the pure light from the stars. Energetically, this new moon in Leo is an exciting, refreshing, celestial event that offers a time for reflection and intention setting. This new lunar cycle will provide an opportunity to lean into our inner child, follow our passions, and return to those creative projects that we've neglected while getting swept up into the demands of daily life. It's a wonderful time for adjusting to new timelines. With a few planets moving retrograde, this particular new moon will assist us to identify childhood issues that are still holding us back and preventing us from moving forward. Old memories may resurface, pushed by the 8-8 waves, so we can empower ourselves in the present time instead of being anchored by the past. This week will bring you the chance to grow into your most confident, fun, and courageous self. And even though the new moon energies generally feel milder compared to the full moon, this week may be emotionally intense. There may be some moments of emotional crisis this week, but these moments will also give us the willingness to make things better, improve our life, and overcome challenges. And your loved ones. We are all undergoing a deep process of clearing and adjustments. Be loving to yourself and allow these new moon energies to show you the road to a new and brighter you. Much love, we are one. From DiegoBerman.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Catherine Emily. We will stay a victim and we will stay in shame pain until we crack open to God's love for us. The masculine wounds are purging at the core. It's a lot and they are deep. When you fully let go of attachments, because you're chasing fake love highs and addictions and codependencies, which is shame, pain, projection, needing something outside you to complete you because you are broken by a lack of true love connection. Once you feel into your brokenness, absence of God, you stop consuming outside of you. Your heart feels broken because you lost yourself in your mind to escape suffering, yet suffering never left you. And when you feel, instead of self-soothing, numbing pain, you can actually open to higher consciousness and find good, God, and your own higher heart again. There is nothing wrong with you, and God welcomes his child home for the true pleasure you actually crave, the other side of pain. God's waiting for you to empty yourself so he, she can fill you back up and heal your heart and sacral, solar from pain of attachments. Yet you still cling to externals which will never substitute what your heart and soul will continue to always seek. Maybe your heart needs to royally crack open so God can enter from within. Maybe surrendering to your deep loneliness and suffering will help lead you out of the abyss back into your own light. 
grieve and feel the stagnant shame because they will not leave until you face them and love them inner child no dopamine or other is a substitute for god and sometimes being alone helps you purge these wounds to then come home to god's union inside of your heart from union here you can then express that frequency of love to others and to life from a full cup of god gold not a shame-filled empty vessel hunger feeding looking to be constantly filled up by consumption externally until you find your own light dark night to purge light time maybe it's time to surrender to the black abyss death and birth canal then set sail on a new horizon and worth where you're in divine control again through your path of dharmic over karmic because we purged all your lack and illusion wounds to their very root to crown core thirty-three vertebrae to god jacob's ladder kundalini rising from Catherine Emily Elohim dot love, and today from Divine Sister of the Light Natalia Alba, beloved ones, during the second phase of August, many of us are focused on regeneration, inner reflection, and above all, self-care, for it is essential for us to continue our path of conscious creation and planetary work, for this is a major time for grid work for many. Tomorrow we have the second moon of this intense month. As you know, August has two full moons and a new moon tomorrow at 23 degrees Leo. We are in a key phase in our task as planetary healers to bring more restoration into the Earth's magnetic fields, adjusting artificially by the moon. Many of you working to stabilize the Earth's fields know the importance of this time, for helping in the stabilization of the Earth's fields, especially with the reinforcement received by the current energies that are helping us greatly in this planetary task. As you know, the Moon is an inorganic satellite whose impact on Earth is quite strong, although not for the reasons we have been told. This Moon in Leo and the surrounding energies are going to signify a major change for all that are ready to awake to higher truths. For this is what helps us see what has been hidden. It is now the time for many to begin disengaging from old beliefs, clearing lunar implants and beliefs, and moving into a wider perspective on the real influence of it. Leo together with the soul waves coming now and many other benevolent essences are great helpers for us to become more aware and empower of the planetary false agendas. The moon affects the tides and hence the earth's magnetic fields, destabilizing many structures that are now being restored. The importance and main emphasis of my post is always on the signs and other planetary alignments, for this is what truly is relevant from my point of view. The guidance received and from where I am on my journey. Please take what serves your journey and leave what does not. From a planetary view, we have the Sun, Moon, and Venus, which is retrograde, square Uranus, the great change maker and awakener, as it is often called. A moon that is also semi sextile Mars. The planet of power is also in a trine to Uranus. An incredible combination of squares and trines that gives this alignment more power for us to transform ourselves and our lives. The key during this moon for us to trigger the desired change is in Uranus, the planet that will help us, together with Leo and the soul emanations received recently, to embody higher levels of consciousness and hence truths, creating the change required in ourselves and our bodies, to continue empowering ourselves by disengaging from the many distractions and lies being spread. The square to Uranus helps us in creating the changes that are necessary for our personal evolution, but from a harmonized state of being, rather than from a state of impulsiveness, a change that requires determination, devotion, and daily inner work, a change that is gradual and a long-term one for the results 
that our egoic self desires to see are not built from one day to another, but from a long time practicing our ascension tools and working in what we need to dissolve at our present evolutionary stage. Our central sun's emanations, increased by Leo, are vital to burn away what does not serve, regenerating ourselves completely, for soul is the unified self of our universe, what feeds us of divine consciousness to all who are ready to integrate it, for not everyone is ready for the truth yet. This is precisely what helps us integrate more wisdom, love, and power, allowing us to realize for ourselves what we need to leave behind, and what we need to foment to continue with our chosen path. Leo frequencies are emphasizing the solar waves on our planet, for they are the ones assisting us in retrieving our solar power through precisely the conscious clearing of lunar implants, especially in our second chakra, our female essence, so distorted and manipulated with false lunar connections for eons. This process together with the transfiguration of our three main chakras is vital to initiate our ascension in the physical. Leo, whose main geometry is precisely represented by a tetrahedron, the element that serves us to reconnect our human self with our divine ones, can assist us in breaking all these false connections and beliefs. It is by aligning with Leo's frequencies that we can open or reinforce our soul portal, situated around the fifth chakra, expressing freely our unique essence, our hearts, and above all, our willpower, the one who can remember the truth and begin to disengage from all false beliefs and programs. The soul emanations descending upon our planet during these past months are generating in many a process of conscious transmogrify in which they are directing these solar consciousness emanations for the purpose of dismantling old structures, implants, and memories in their bodies, reconnecting their light bodies completely. This is how we align our hearts and mind. This is how we begin the process of becoming sovereign beings by being open in mind, heart, and soul to what we thought was true and no longer feel authentic in our heart, beginning to detach from eons of distortions, finding for ourselves what is true for us, what we are ready now to embody and what will help us in our choice of reclaiming our personal freedom and sovereignty. May you all choose to be free, beloved ones, within infinite love from NataliaAlba.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica, activating light streams, for the light waves are morphing, aligning to the specific needs of your unique light world. Know a heightened emotional resonance of light is currently showering your world. I am shown that vast variety of light waves, like the vast diversity of species in our world, for it is a complex light formulation of heightened emotional resonance, of light awakening in this now moment. I am particularly shown heightened emotional light waves, impulsed, activated by the emotional stimuli of humanity. These emotional light codes and waves assist the deeper cleansing and light integration of your physical light body connection, further awakening your true self. This physical light release is a light layer to assist the releasing of emotional light in 3D density. It is a universal light mechanism to lift the stagnant density of light layers within the consciousness of your world. We ask you to see the larger viewpoint of the collective consciousness of your world. The great light morphing, releasing, shining, cleansing your light world. We see the internal light metamorphosis taking place in each of you. The humble light streams evolutionizing your world. Be patient with the process. Rapid light revolution is amongst you. With love to the way showers of light, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. There is an entire team of light that are connecting with you today. 
They are encouraging you to continue going after the happy, fulfilling life you desire. You are supported to go deeper and clear the core seed point and rejection wounds that have gotten in the way. This new beginning is underway, however, so it is important to attain mastery over letting external forces in. Instead, you're being called to embody the wisdom that is awakening and go forward. Be firm and confidently commit to yourself and your journey. You don't owe anyone anything. Voyage ahead and leave the past in the past. Remember your spirit team is with you each step of the way. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen. God bless you. Love, Carolyn. From 144godcode.com And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Adrian Elise, August 14th through the 21st, 2023, Take Back the Garden. Venus retrograde has just crossed over Black Moon Lilith and Leo and square with Uranus for the second time. We are getting deep into the energies of this Venus retrograde as our feminine searches to retrieve her light from the underworld. Today the sun is crossing over Venus. This is illuminating the situation and helping bring light and clarity to what has been so far revealed. Venus will come into a trine with Chiron for this week's Leo New Moon. The sun and the moon will be at 23 degrees, 17 minutes for the new moon. Smack dab in the middle of conjunction with Black Moon Lilith and square to Uranus and Taurus. This is highlighting the intense astrology of the Venus retrograde. We are bringing light to the darkest dark in order to support our feminine and being healed, whole and confident and owning her higher power. The feminine higher power is free energy. With Pluto and Capricorn, we have been wrestling with forces that have long sought to hide these truths from us. This technology has been suppressed and hidden. It holds the key to full human potential and the future of our evolution. We are finding that we have no choice but to activate this power in our very own energy field. We are free energy disclosure. Incredible astrological configurations through the rest of August are pushing the envelope and forcing the turn of the wheel of time. Pluto sits one degree out of exact square with the nodes of the moon. Pluto in Capricorn represents false authority structures that have kept humanity down. These narcissistic patriarchal structures are always based on an external authority and a system of rewards and punishments. Deep shame programming has been a crucial part of keeping in place this false order system of control. This energy keeps us unconsciously feeling like we are trying to make up for something. So we continue to give our power away, but now we are seeing through their games. Take this opportunity to raise our self-worth and break any remaining ties to any energy outside of ourselves that seeks to dictate whether or not we can come into our own God-given power. Pluto is also one degree out of a sweet and helpful sextile with Neptune and Pisces. This is harmonizing the crumbling of reality, which is necessary to break the spell of sleepiness that has been cast on humanity. We are the children of the garden, and it is time for us to take back our world and dream a new dream. Mars is coming up to an exact opposition with Neptune and Pisces on August 24th, the same day that Mercury turns retrograde. Mercury won't make this opposition with Neptune until the beginning of October. This opposition makes the axis of a loose kite shape and a grand earth trine with Pluto and Capricorn and Uranus and Taurus. The tip of the kite is Neptune and Pisces. It's like we are levitating the mountain up to reveal the ancient temple underneath. All hidden secrets must be revealed. There is so much we are not being told about our true history and access to higher technology. We can't get out of this intense astrological time without massive disclosure of deep dark truths, the only way to free humanity. 
the truth of history and technology, as well as revealing these patterns of control, will empower humanity to stand up for our right to be who we really are. The power of the people mobilized is immense. With all this at play in the sky, Saturn is the only planet that is not involved in the dynamic configurations of T-squares, squares, a yod, and a kite. It's interesting that we are feeling Saturn more than ever. Saturn is retrograde in Pisces at 4 degrees. An argument over which timelines and energies best serve the agenda versus the natural spiritual evolution of humanity. You can only hold back the tide for so long. Too many people know enough of the truth. A wave of awakening is coming which has the power to break through all programming and bring in the light of a new day. From AdrianElise.com And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Colleen Lemma. On Tuesday, August 15th, we have the Sun, ruler of the ego, and Leo, the lion, challenging Uranus, ruler of rebellion, and Taurus, the bull. We want to take charge and express ourselves, and we may be feeling pushed or pulled to break free of what or who is holding us back from our vitality, energy, and light. Uranus is like a lightning bolt of electrical energy that brings sudden and unexpected situations, circumstances, and redirections. The moon, ruler of our feelings, is also in Leo and challenging Jupiter, planet of expansion, who is also in Taurus. This may bring about an exaggeration of our emotions that leads to faulty perceptions and belief systems about what is really going on for us. The relief comes with the moon connecting with loving Venus. If we connect with our inner child and open our heart to the highest form of unconditional love towards self and others, we can alleviate some of the strain from the stubborn energies that are creating difficulty, doubt, and insecurity. We are in the dark of the moon before the new moon in Leo tomorrow. This day is best served by going within and reflecting on our own inner processes. Blessings of love and light to all from sacredsoulempowerment.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Saturn retrograde in Pisces and semi-square Chiron retrograde in Aries. Juno enters Leo. Something needles in the background, a nudge from our intuition that there are things we need to take care of. It's so easy to let self-care slide when life's responsibilities pile up. Sometimes, too, we push ourselves too hard to try to prove a point, force ourselves to power through the pain physical, emotional, or mental, because we don't want to be weak or because we live in perpetual doubt about our abilities. Maybe we just feel guilty if we stop because time's a ticking and the weight of the world is on our shoulders. Time to stop. Stop hurting yourself. Stop feeling guilty. Stop punishing yourself. Find small ways to manage ongoing chronic problems. Press your hand to your arm gently but firmly, a parental action to support and steady. Remind yourself, I've got this. Consult your intuition for advice. Make peace with your inner saboteur. Treat yourself well and well-being floods your body. Juno, entering Regal Leo, approves. We all need the royal treatment sometimes. Commit to prioritizing your happiness. Give yourself the attention you need. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 194, White Crystal Wizard. Crystal is the name for the number 12 and its keywords are cooperation, dedication, and universalize. Crystal energy is all about working together, finding your like-minded folk, and evolving as a group. Think of a hive of bees or a pack of wolves. They survive and thrive because of working together. Ironically, we live in an age where everyone seems bent on detaching themselves from the herd, yet we've never been so overpopulated. Wouldn't it be sensible to cooperate with each other to solve our problems? Today is White Wizard, and it represents enchantment, receptivity, and timelessness. 
We are always in for a fun ride when the wizard rules the day. You never quite know what to expect. Sometimes he puts us under a spell, and it's not till the next day you realize what happened. If you tune into the energy, you can be a wizard and be charming and use enchantment to your advantage. As it is the crystal wizard, try getting together with others to create some communal enchantment. Imagine a group of wizards in a sacred grove conjuring up spells together and enchanting each other. Sounds like some festivals I've been to. The point is we can make more magic together than individually. This is also called synergy. And today from Divine Sis Star of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. White Crystal Wizard, 12 Ish, Keen 194, 15th of August, 2023. Enchanting Connections, Magic Happens. 15 8 2023 equals 6 8 7 equals 6 15 equals 6 6 equal 12 equal 3 15 15 spiritual alchemy 6 6 heaven's gate day codes 15 spiritual alchemy charisma magnetism 6 heaven christ family romance fertility 12 spiritual strength wisdom disciples 3 holy trinity creativity joy Communication. Month year codes. 8. Infinite Abundant Source Flow. 15. 6. 20. The Awakening Clear Vision. 2. Partner Twin Cooperation Alliances. 23. Royal Star of the Lion Strength Protection. Keen 194 equal 14 equal 5. Change Transformation Freedom Liberation. A heavenly 6-6 six, six gateway with the 1515 double spiritual alchemist's code. Lots of divine magic to guide our spell casting today, beloveds. Another powerfully super duper magical day for enchanting your dream spell. Day 12 in the blue night wave spell of dreams, intuition, and abundance. Where we are collectively dreaming the new world into reality. Today we are connecting and cooperating with our communities in a crystal clear manner of communication in order to seed the highest potential timeline and make our dreams come true. We are reprogramming our minds with the new dreaming codes of peace, joy, and abundance. Tone of creation, crystal tone 12 in the mental realm, action universalizes, power dedicates, essence cooperation. The Crystal Tone 12 is the highest level of mind, mental realm. The other two mental tones are Tone 4, Self-Existing, and Tone 8, Galactic. Yesterday we focused on dissolving and releasing any blocks in order to liberate our dreams of abundance. Through the space and freedom engendered by the spectral phase of disillusion and release, new space is created for something new to emerge. At the crystal level of mind, we have the capacity to cooperate or operate with other minds. Just as a crystal can be programmed, so too can we program our minds on this day. Today we are joining and merging with other minds through the power of our resonating hearts and minds being receptive to the needs of our communities. The crystal wizard is dedicated to creating these new 5D communities through the unified power of cooperative alliances. We are reprogramming Gaia's crystalline grid to a much higher octave of pure consciousness through telepathy and our heart connections. Focus on crystal clarity of your mind today through the power of cooperation with others. A day of greater connection to each other through our precious hearts and highest collective minds and to Mother Gaia. A brilliant day for thinking, networking, meeting with like minds, and finding brilliant solutions. Go forth and seed the highest timeline of abundance, peace, and joy, and our beloved new 5D planet, Nova Gaia. A whole planetary kin, it is done times a godzillion. Today's question is, how can I become more receptive to the divine magic flowing now? 
to connect and cooperate with my community through our enchanted hearts and pure minds and our united purpose. Divine blessings for enchantingly beautiful connections through magic and miracles today. In la ketch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 194, White Crystal Wizard. The mantra, the code for today is, I dedicate in order to enchant, universalizing receptivity. I seal the output of timelessness with the crystal tone of cooperation. I am guided by the power of death. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Sister of the Light, Maria Blancavote, for your pledge and support on Patreon, and welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to support our work and mission and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Iridescent, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. And I'd like to also thank Divine Angel of the Light, Trey Beef, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support, and we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you, so we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support our work and mission with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You could purchase our beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful divine decree. Take time to sit and feel and cultivate the feeling of gratitude and love in your heart. It is tangible and an actual substance that leaves your heart, pink and gold in color. Keep your attention on your mighty I Am Presence. Pour your love and gratitude toward it. Ask your presence to guide you this day. Then give with deep feeling the following decree. In the name, full power, and authority of you, my mighty I Am Presence, and that of all mankind, I now give full authority and permission to the Great White Brotherhood to do whatever is necessary in this lower physical realm to fulfill the divine plan for the Earth's eternal freedom. We thank you that all these decrees are self-sustained, maintained, and expanded in cosmic action, and doubled each hour with cosmic power, and all is done according to thy will. Thank you. O Father of light, show us thy full glory we had with thee in the beginning. We thank you. From IamFree.co.za Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful new moon in Leo tomorrow as we continue our journey through the ascension portal and into the new heaven upon the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. 144 flowing in. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.